Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to Creepy Crafty Days where I'm sharing a video every single day this month. Today I have one final big collective crafty haul to share with you guys. So as you might know, Serena came to visit me in Southern California for a couple of weeks and you guys, we did a crap ton of shopping. So um, I did have a set budget. I don't think I went over my budget as far as crafting and things that I wanted to pick up while she was here. So let's go ahead and just jump right in to all of the new crafty things that I got for Halloween and creepy crafty days and all that. So first up, I placed a small order from a cherry on top because scrapbook.com, as far as I know, as far as the filming of this video, still has not gotten in the Spooky Boo washi tape and I really, really wanted it. I think it's super cute. Um, I love these little ghosties. This one, this wide one totally reminds me of the Haunted Mansion. So I wanted that because we did go to Disney and stuff. So these are all the washi tapes. I already have cracked into this and started using it. So that's why they might look a little uneven, but I just could not wait, you guys. I could not wait. So I got that. And then also from a cherry on top, I picked up a couple of things from the Trick or Treat collection. My friend Sabrina Ann is using this whole collection this month as well. And she totally inspired me to try to find some for myself because I think it is super cute. And I think it will go perfectly with the Spooky Boo stuff that I've already got. So I picked up the ephemera and then the chipboard elements. So these, I believe, were the only things that were left on a cherry on top. So I just grabbed these and this is totally fine. So at least I have a little bit of the collection and that's pretty fun. We also had gone to Hobby Lobby, so I picked up these little cups. I thought they would be super fun to pack with candy or homemade embellishments or, you know, whatever for Happy Mail. So I guess they're actually snack bowls, but I think they're really cute. And then Serena had picked up some of these bags and she had shared some with me. So I think that's super sweet. Thank you, Serena. I still love these. Yay, and they match, super cute. So we had gone to Hobby Lobby. Um, it was one of the first stops when she got here as far as shopping. Um, so I didn't want to like blow my whole budget at Hobby Lobby. I wanted to wait and see what other things I would find while she was here because my shopping budget also included stuff at Universal and Disney. So like I didn't want to go all out right at the beginning. So I just picked these up and then again, she was super sweet to share these with me. Side note, I also picked up this mug at Hobby Lobby. I know it's not crafty or anything, but it's super cute. Um, I love the Grinch and Serena got a matching one so I think it's super adorable so this was in my budget as well but he's so cute. <laughs> I think we ran by Michael's a couple of times just to see um, you know all the markdowns and stuff and to see if they put out the Christmas thing so I picked up this little book box. It is super cute. I was inspired to get this from the Target book boxes that I picked up as well that you guys saw in my like Halloween decor vlog video. Um, but I wanted another one and they didn't have any others. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I can make one. I think this is super cute and I'm going to try to make it into a fun little book of some sort. Michaels had marked all of their stuff way down on sale. So I picked up these little ghosty guys and then I picked up this pack as well. It has some haunted houses. What else? Some more little haunted houses with bats and little ghosty guys. And I think it's really cute. So I'm glad that I got these. I'm really glad that I got them on sale. <laughs> and I like how they are essentially like really big die cuts. So that'll be really handy for projects and things this month. They also had their little paper bags on sale. So I picked up a pack with the bats, some with the spider webs, some little pumpkin faces, and then some more skulls. We also made a bunch of different runs to various targets around me and I picked up these stamps. I think they are super cute and this will be fun to add to my wooden stamp collection. I also got a bunch of washi at the various targets. So I picked up a couple of these red glitters. I think these will be perfect for Christmas time. You guys had also mentioned to me to be on the lookout for orange glitter washi tape at Target. So I was able to find some rolls. So I picked up two because I love using orange glitter during my October daily and creepy crafty days. They also had this amazing white like hollow glitter washi and Serena I actually used the same washi in a mini album that she made for me last year and I freaking love it so she saw these in one of the targets and I got two because they're so beautiful and they'll be perfect 
perfect for using in December daily. Target also had some shaped washi tapes, so I picked up a pack of the little orange pumpkins, some of the glittery leaves, and then some of the little witch's hats, because these are super cute, and I don't really have any die-cut washi. And at first I passed them up, I was like, no, I don't really use like shaped washi, but the more I thought about it, I was like, well, maybe I don't use it because I don't really have any. So we shall see. I think these are super cute and I can't wait to use them in some projects. And then lastly, Serena spotted this ghosty washi. So we both got one. I think it's super cute. And who doesn't love ghost washi tape, right? I did pick up this paper pad at Target and I plan on using this for a Tombow project, I believe. So I think that's really pretty. I don't really have any navy gold you know colorways so and it was only three bucks so i figured why not i also picked up this greeting card to use in my october daily so it says nobody could have predicted a magical friendship like ours happy halloween and i love that it, there's foiling on here there's some glitter and i think this will look perfect in my october daily album i also grabbed an envelope because why not this will be really fun to document something from her visit and yeah, I think it'll be cool. One of the targets also had these little bags. I thought they were super cute and again, would be perfect to my October daily or to include happy mail in. So I got some of the orange and black stripes, um, the little scully guys, and then I thought these stars were super pretty. So I got several of those. I did get several sheets of stickers at Target. So I got this one. I think it's really cute and they are puffy. This one, these are epoxy and I think the different faces are really cute. This one is super fun. It's puffy little pumpkins and I love that there's black and white and orange and black. I think these are super duper cute and I love the patterns and little faces and it says creep it real. I love it. And then I spotted these in multiple targets. They're like little googly eye pumpkins and I kept reaching for them but then I kept putting them back and finally I was like, you know what? I keep looking at them. I keep trying to get them so I finally just broke down and bought them I think they're super cute and then there was this big one it says boo and it's got glitter and rhinestones on it it's a decal from the hide and eek collection and I thought this would be really fun to maybe put on the inside cover of my October daily or maybe on the front or something or even on some happy mail maybe so picked up a bunch of fun stickers. I love the little mini like bags that Target has every year so I'm still working through a pack from last year but when I saw these designs for this year I thought they were super cute so I grabbed one set and these are like pretty small so they are perfect for like mini bag flips. And I just think they're so stinking cute. Like these ghosties are so adorable. These little skull guys. I mean, he's super happy, right? So these will be really fun to use in some projects. And then a couple more things from Target. So Serena had spotted these wooden adhesive shapes. Some of them have glitter. So I don't really have any wooden bits or whatever that are Halloween themed like this with colors and stuff. So I'm so happy she saw these and she didn't want them for herself. So I got to take them home. And then the last thing from Target I got as far as crafty type things are these pencils. So every year for Halloween or whatever, we always put out candy for the trick or treaters, but we also do the teal pumpkin project, which is where you provide like non food items. So small things like pencils or little things of bubbles, small sheets of stickers, like little bouncy balls whatever for kids who have food allergies that way they can feel like they get to participate as well because a lot of the candies and things can trigger food allergies you know if there's milk and something or nuts or whatever so we always do the teal pumpkin project and I was running low on some things so I went ahead and grabbed these pencils we also went by Joann's a couple of times so one time I picked up these glitter mixing tubes I thought they would be perfect they remind me of like little scientific beakers but they're plastic so I don't have to worry about them breaking or smashing in the mail and things going everywhere. <laughs> I also picked up this little two pack of washi tape. I think they're super cute. So there's black and white stripes and then black with some gold stars on top. And they are from the Ms. Sparkle & Co. Papery brand. So those are super cute. Joann's also had these packs of tags that were super duper cute. So I went ahead and grabbed these as well. And I think there's a few different styles of tags in here. So it says Hocus Pocus, um, little cat and bat with a broom. It's really adorable. And then the little witchy girl. And then this one has less in it because I did share some with Serena. So some little ghosty guys, happy Halloween, and then like little pumpkins on the fence. 
super duper cute but really my joann's like these were the only ones i saw like my joann's was pretty pretty picked over which is crazy i also grabbed a couple pack of jemmies so there's some black ones here and some purple and i thought these would be really fun to include in happy mails they also had some really cute bags and these as well have different patterns so it says hocus pocus and then polka dots which are really cute and this one says eat drink and be scary and then the other pattern is this one which is a fun like vintagey jack-o-lantern clown one and then they also had these bags which are treat bags it does come with ceiling stickers but they're this really fun ghost pattern and there's like a clear window so I am excited to try to figure out how to use these. I think they'd be fun in my October daily or to include some happy mail or something. And then Joanne also had like a whole like open stock scrapbook paper section. So I picked up a couple of these skeleton papers because I think they're really fun. A couple of these pumpkin patterned ones. And then I love this one. It looks a lot like the Spooky Boo washi tape. I mean, it's kind of the same. Um, so I picked up a couple of these. This totally reminds me of the Haunted Mansion ride. So I might use this paper as part of documenting that in my October daily. Joanne also stocks the die cuts with a view paper pads. So I bought the spooky and sparkly one. I think these were on sale for like half off or something. As you can see, they both come like this, you know, fuller like this, but I shared this one with Serena because she loved it too, but she was running out of room, you guys, in her luggage. So I was like, you know what, girl, I'll just share it with you. It's totally fine. Like, I don't need a ton, a ton of paper, but it'd be cool to have like one of each at least, you know? So there's some cut aparts. There's really pretty marble ones, some little words. I think this one is really cute. I love how they're double sided. Um, so that kind of makes crafting a little bit more fun. This one has foiling on it, some stripes. Some more cut aparts, more scullies, more words, more kind of marbly, and then again, very haunted mansion y, which I love. And then I also picked up this one, which is super fun. It's called Spooky Halloween. So I will just flip through this one. It does come with stickers, which is cool. These little eyeballs are super cute. So yeah, so I picked up this one, and I think this will be really fun to use as well. There's some orange foiling. I love these orange stripes. These little bone guys are really cute. More foiling, more ghosties, pumpkins, more stripes, all that. And this one also came with a journaling card sheet, actually two of them, but I already took them out and cut them apart for the most part. Um, but these are some of the journaling cards. And I really love the backs of these because they have like designs but lots of room to write so these will be really fun so i did wind up taking some of these cut apart to disney to have characters sign on so that was really cool so definitely keep an eye out in my october daily for that i didn't really get a ton of crafty things from walmart um i think i think these halloween treat bags were kind of the only thing as well as some glittery spiders which i've showed already in my decor vlog but these have some fun patterns. So there's the pumpkins, the trick or treat, some purple and black spidery web things, and then treat yourself with some candies. So I thought these were super fun. We also went to my local scrapbook store, which I will leave a link to it down below in case you guys are in the Glendale, Burbank, you know, Northern Los Angeles area. It's called um, Once Upon a Page, I believe. But they had this paper and I thought it would be perfect for Mickey's Halloween party that we went to. So it's got the Mickey ears, jack-o'-lantern, not so scary Halloween. I think the not so scary Halloween party is actually in Florida and ours here at Disneyland is called Mickey's Halloween party, but like, I don't care. I'll probably like cut this out and make it a big die cut. You know, this pattern paper has Mickeys on it. And then the back is black with orange Mickeys. So I think this is super cute and it was such a lucky find. And then also from that little scrapbook store, I picked up some little gold eyelets. They were on sale and I don't think I have any gold ones. So I just got some of those. And then the scissors were also like in their clearance bin and they are like a scalloped fancy cut scissor. Like I don't have any fancy scissors. The only ones that I've got are my pinking shears and these are like, you know, pointy. So when I saw these, I was like, yes, I need some like scalloped ones. How cute would that be? Right? I don't know. Make some little bags or envelopes or something with it. So super stoked about these. <laughs> 
So that is it for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was huge. I did do a lot of shopping while Serena was here, but I'm kind of okay with it. I've been saving up for it and I stuck within my budget for the most part. So I'm really happy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the fun things that I bought. You might have already seen some of these things pop up in crafty videos. So if you have and you're wondering where they came from, now you know. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you loved it. If you missed yesterday's, you can click up here. If you want to join in all the fun crafty shenanigans happening over in the Crafty Club this month, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I really hope you do, thank you so much in advance, you can click right here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!